What's going on everybody, Mr. JSKKTX here with Epic Gaming, bringing you your gaming news for the week of February 24th, 2012. What's going on everybody, Mr. JSKKTX here, bringing you some gaming news and information to the Epic Gaming channel. It's been a few weeks since I've made a video. I'm supposed to be scheduled to do a video every week, but I had a death in the family and some recent things have come up uh, to where I had to postpone some of my videos. Um, I'm now on schedule. Uh, my Epic Gaming upload schedule has changed from Tuesday until Friday. Since I'm doing gaming news and uh, information videos, I want to have the whole week to compile a list of good gaming information and topics to present to you guys, so that's why I moved me uh, my schedule, that is, to Friday. Uh, so we can have, like I said, better content for the gaming news videos. Alright guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, we have a lot of good gaming news and information to present to you guys today. And as always, if you want to leave your opinions or have any questions for me, uh, you can leave any of those in the comment box below. I will try to answer as many questions and comments as possible, as well as, if, like I said, if you guys want to leave your opinions over any of the stories we discuss, that's more than welcome. In fact, it's actually encouraged. Alright guys, so the first topic we're going to talk about is Killzone 3, and that is that Killzone 3 is going to be coming to the PlayStation station store and you're going to be able to play the online mode for Killzone 3 absolutely free. That's right guys, coming February 28th, the PlayStation Store is going to be giving everyone the multiplayer side of Killzone 3 for free. Uh, not only do you get to play the multiplayer of Killzone 3 for free, but you'll also be getting every single map uh, that's ever came out for uh, Killzone 3 as well. Sony and Guerrilla Games are basically doing this, they say, to keep the online of uh, Killzone 3 uh, going and keep it active. Alright, so yeah, that kind of sounds too good to be true. Well, in a way it is. There is a level cap in Killzone 3 that once you hit, you will not be able to play anymore, uh, but you will be able to unlock the full multiplayer version of Killzone 3 for $14.99, and that will give you unlimited access to the multiplayer of Killzone 3 as well as, like I said, every single map. Alright, as you guys know, with the recent release of the PlayStation Vita, it's gotten a lot of hype. Uh, I myself want one extremely bad, and I might go to some extreme lengths to get it. Who knows? We'll see in the near future what goes on. Uh, but the 4GB card that a lot of people are using for their Sony Vita is just simply en uh, not enough, and they're saying it's basically a waste of time, and that you're prob probably going to want to uh, go ahead and upgrade to something more like 32GB or maybe a little bit higher. Uh, just with the Vita, you're going to be having a lot of content saved to your portable device, and this is going to be eating up a lot of memory. And if you only have 4 gigabytes, you're going to be extremely limited on what you can do with your Vita. So, again, you might want to go ahead and take the time right now to go ahead and upgrade to a higher capacity SD card, uh, or memory card, rather, for your PlayStation Vita. On a side note, I'm going to add that you have to use Sony's uh, PS Vita memory cards for uh, the Vita. They are specially made for the Vita. You cannot just go buy, you know, an SD card like you pull out of a, a digital SLR camera, or any camera for that matter, and plug it in. It has to be uh, especially for the Sony Vita. Those of you who are a fan of the realistic first-person shooter Medal of Honor, looks like we're going to be seeing a new title coming up in the near future. According to Xbox Magazine, Medal of Honor Warfighter is going to be the new title of this first-person shooter game. It is a sequel to the 2010 release of the original Medal of Honor. Uh, this is going to be coming, uh, hopefully, uh, this October. Those of you who are a fan of Borderland can rejoice. Looks like you're going to be getting a brand new Borderland 2, and it looks like it's going to be set to release in North America on September 18th, 2012, and internationally on September 21st, 2012. So if you're a fan of Borderlands, like I said, coming up very soon and just a few months, you're going to be able to get your hands on Borderland 2. I've heard a lot of people that have uh, watched the trailers that have uh, said nothing but good things about it. I myself have not really, I didn't play really any Borderland 1, uh, and if it's, you know, worth the shot, I might give it a try. If you guys have played Borderland 1 and you think it's worth uh, playing, let me know in the comment box below. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. Alright guys, let's go ahead and go back to the PlayStation Vita uh, since this is a new product. As you guys know in Sony, they're working very hard to make this thing spectacular and just make it run as smooth as possible. Uh, well, they've been revamping the uh, basically PlayStation Store for the PS Vita, uh, giving it screenshots of all the games that are on there. So, if you are curious about a game uh, for the PlayStation Vita, you can go to the store and now 
now it will give you screenshots of gameplay from that game. I don't know, I find this pretty useful. I think it's pretty cool. It's uh, definitely a plus on my phone. If I want to get a mobile app on my phone, I can look at screenshots of the game, and it definitely helps uh, persuade me and my decision on making the purchase. All right, guys, then the last thing I want to talk about is basically a deal you can go do. If you are, in fact, wanting to get your hands on a brand new PS Vita and you don't have the $250 to $300 to spend, you can trade in your previous handheld device, PlayStation Portable. Uh, you can trade it into Best Buy, and you can get your hands on a PlayStation Vita for $150 which is $100 off the retail price of the Wi-Fi model and $150 off of the Wi-Fi 3G model of the PS Vita. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching your gaming news. I'm Mr. JSKKTX with Epic Gaming. Until next time, we'll see you later.